Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Highness, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the Association of the National Olympic Committee, the ANOC's merit badge con conferred to His Highness on the sidelines at the convening of the ANOC's General Assembly in Qatar. His Majesty stated that His Highness's grant of the award is proof of his great efforts and excellent work in improving Olympic sports in the Kingdom, which due to His Highness's work and the unification of the Bahraini sports family, is making prominent achievements in various fields. His Majesty affirmed that these achievements have guaranteed further prosperity and improvement for the Bahraini Olympic experience and gave it a status of praise and attention from all the observers of the sports Olympic movement. His Majesty also congratulated all the honorees, commending their efforts in the development of Olympic work in their respective countries and wishing them constant success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghaybiya Palace today the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, a number of royal family members and officials. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stated that Bahraini people contributed with their efforts and the determination to reinforce the march of national action, adding that these achievements will be a source of inspiration to the future generations to serve their country. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted the role of the President of the SCIA in his historical and cultural contribution to the National March. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also affirmed the government's keenness in developing its services and facilities in various fields, including health and medical treatment, as to provide citizens with the highest levels of medical services. His Royal Highness noted the importance of raising health awareness and educational campaigns regarding modern-day diseases and urged the need for Bahrain to host international conferences and forums about such diseases, including cancer. His Royal Highness also stressed the importance of cooperation among specialized research centers in the GCC so as to study these diseases in order to come up with recommendations to help governments develop preventative and curative programs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister added that the government encourages such forms that help develop the health sector, stressing the government's keenness in providing the citizens with the highest level of health and medical services.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghaibiya Palace the board chairman of the Kuwait Finance House KFH, Hamad Al Marzouk. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister cited the contributions of the Kuwait Finance House and the economic and development areas in the Kingdom of Bahrain and praised the role of Baytech for selecting Bahrain for the implementation of economic projects that reflect the bank's efficiency in the planning and implementation processes. He asserted the government's support of the financial and banking sector for their significant impact in developing the national economy and creating job opportunities for citizens. He also noted that the government is keen to adopt programs that ele elevate the banking sector and maintain a regional and global excellence status for the kingdom in the field of business and finance. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister underscored that the Gulf Cooperation Council countries have become an economic power but under the circumstances and challenges faced in the region, require the GCC countries to adopt more comprehensive cooperation in order to maintain this power and economic growth in order to achieve the welfare of the people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also emphasized that the Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes regional investments, especially Kuwait, which reflects an aspect of the well-established and deeply rooted historical relations linking the two countries. For his part, the board chairman of KFH, Hamad al Marzouk, expressed his appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support for the activities and projects of Baytik in Bahrain, which has had a very positive impact. He also stressed the keenness of KFH to expand the investments in the kingdom for the environment it provides to elevate the status of the financial and banking sectors. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa visited today the Kuwaiti Ambassador to Bahrain and the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Sheikh Azam Barak Al Sabah, at his new residence in the presence of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries ambassadors to Bahrain. The Prime Minister highlighted the regional and international status of His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and noted his political and humanitarian stances, which the world appreciates. He also noted his designation as a humanitarian leader by the United Nations and the praise His Highness Emir of Kuwait received in the Asian Cooperation Dialogue Summit. His Royal Highness pointed out that the shared history and the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Kuwait lead to more bilateral and Gulf cooperation. He emphasized the unity of the Gulf based on a common history and geography. His Royal Highness commended the brotherly relations between the Kingdom and Kuwait which represent a model for the relations of love, brotherhood, and cooperation based on foundations that have been established over the years. He expressed his pleasure regarding the course of the Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations, which reflect the two countries' keenness to develop means of cooperation to live up to the expectations of both countries. The Prime Minister lauded the diplomatic efforts of the Kuwaiti ambassador to Bahrain. For his part, the Kuwaiti ambassador to Bahrain expressed thanks to the Prime Minister for his visit affirming that it embodies the GCC's unity. He praised His Royal Highness's efforts to strengthen the cooperation between both countries.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received today at Arabia Palace the National Honor Office, the NAO's President, Hassan al Jalahima, in the presence of the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister, Jawad Al Arayat, the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and Cabinet Affairs Minister, Mohammed Al Mutawa, where Al Jalahima submitted the NAO report for the year 2015 to 2016. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince asserted that the independent monitoring approach, which is constituted by the National Audit Office annual report, is at the heart of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's instructions for the preservation of public funds, as well as the achievement of the highest degree of transparency. His Royal Highness also emphasized that the government, under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, will carefully consider the findings and recommendations of the NAO report through a government task force headed by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince instructed for the immediate investigation into all cases that carry any criminal violations within the report and for the referral to the public prosecution in order to take forward the necessary legal action. His Royal Highness went on to praise the NAO's efforts to monitor violations associated with the insufficient use of public funds as a means to ensure that the delivery of government services and productivity are maintained. His Royal Highness then underscored the importance of reinforcing cooperation between government entities and the NAO, noting that this will play a crucial role in increasing government productivity, preserving public funds and rationalizing expenditure, which is in line with the government's long-term development goals. For his part, the NAO's president, Hassan al Jalahima, expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and for the leadership's continued support to the NAO. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and the President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, chaired today the fifth meeting of the Council's fifth session. His ro Her Royal Highness rather hailed the efforts that contributed to the establishment of the Council, which functions as the organizational system that is based on a sound legal structure. She expressed pride in the achievements of the Council as an advisory organization, specialized in the affairs of Bahraini women and supported by His Majesty the King, which enhances the status of the kingdom in the field of the support and enhancement of the presence of Bahraini women and guarantees them equal participation in the national march. Her Royal Highness said that the gains of Bahraini women since the initiation of His Majesty's reform project reflects the serious will to empower them, to support them to take decision-making positions and to guarantee them equal opportunities in building a promising future. Princess Sabika also highlighted the efforts of the judicial and legal organizations in the kingdom and their sincere participation in the Bahraini Women Day topic this year, which was reflected on the Council's monitoring of laws and legislations that support Bahraini women, recommended by the Third National Convention for Bahraini Women, held under the theme, Women and the Law, March and Achievement, Alleges and Aspirations. During the meeting, the member of the council reviewed the municipality's report regarding the National Plan for Bahraini Women's Advancement from 2013 to 2022, which included a number of success stories and the best practices in the areas of family stability, equal opportunities, and quality of life. Among the success stories was the success of the housing project, Bahraini women in leadership positions, and the private sector's adoption of methods of the national model for integrating women's needs. The meeting concluded with reviewing the municipality's report on the achievements of the fifth session of the Supreme Council for Women, the improvements of the issued legislations and laws, and the most important regional and international contributions and activities, as well as reviewing the proposals of the municipality regarding Bahraini Women Day 2017. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs President, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, chaired today the SCI meeting in the presence of the Vice President Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. He praised the pioneering initiative of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in enhancing and promoting peace between sects, religions, fostering a spirit of moderation, the rejection of extremism and intolerance between people, as well as promoting the common foundation of peaceful coexistence between different ethnicities. The Council stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's wise vision, 
was able to move forward in strengthening its leading role and vital experience to achieve coexistence and harmony. The Council cited the establishment of the Chair in the name of His Majesty at La Sapienza University in Rome to teach dialogue, peace and interreligious understanding, which is a pioneering initiative to disseminate these good values. The Council also congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for receiving the Grand Star and Gold of the Austrian Order of Merit for protecting, upholding traditions and values conferred on him by the Habsburg Royal Family and Hollebrand City Council in Austria. The SCIA condemned the Houthi militias in Yemen for targeting Mecca, stressing that such targeting is an act of despicable terror, expressing at the same time his appreciation for the focus of the Arab coalition led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its vigilance in thwarting this vicious attack. The SCI then moved on to discuss topics on his agenda and initiated with the draft agreement of understanding with the Russian Muftis Shura Council and Religious Administration of Muslims of the Russian Federation and expressed its welcome to the strengthening of relations with the authorities and Islamic organizations. The SCIA also examined the latest developments regarding the implementation of some projects and the reconstruction of mosques. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa received today in the presence of the Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Palestinian Liberation Organization Executive Committee Secretary Dr. Saab Araqat. The Deputy Premier reiterated the Kingdom's solidarity with the Palestinian Brethren to have their full sovereign state with its capital in Jerusalem and supporting all efforts aimed to reach a fair and comprehensive peaceful settlement of the Palestinian issue as per international legitimacy resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative. The Deputy Premier wished the Palestinian people success in achieving national unity to boost their capability and restore security and stability. For its part, Dr. Araqat informed the Deputy Premier about the latest developments of the Palestinian issue and the peace process hailing His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's firm support of stances regarding the Palestinian issue and supporting the Palestinian people to obtain their legitimate rights and aspirations. The Association of the National Olympic Committees, the ANOC, has rewarded His Highness the Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, with an ANOC medal for His Highness's outstanding efforts on the administration level. The medal, which is the highest honor given by ANOC, was presented to His Highness Sheikh Nasser by the President of ANOC, Sheikh Ahmed Al Fahed Al Sabah, during a special ceremony held in Qatar under the patronage of the Prime Minister of Qatar, Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani, in the presence of the President of the International Olympic Committee, Mr. Thomas Bach, President of the Asian Football Confederation, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and the Qatar Olympic Committee President, Sheikh Jo'an bin Hamad Al Thani, as well as a number of senior officials and members of ANOC. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed His Highness's utmost pride and honor to have received such a medal, stating that this honor comes as a crown to all athletes in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the GCC status. His Highness Sheikh Nasser considered that receiving this honor was also a crown for the Bahraini sports and all its members. Moreover, His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised Sheikh Fahad bin Ahmed Al Sabah for his strong contribution to the sports and athletes and for his role in serving this field for a very long period. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also lauded the efforts of Mr. Bach in developing the Olympic Games worldwide, extending appreciation also to the extraordinary work done by Sheikh Jo'an bin Hamad Al Thani in preparing for the General Assembly meeting of ANOC. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met during his visit to Qatar. Qatar's Prime Minister, Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani, 
On the sidelines of His Highness's participation in the Association of National Olympic Committees, the ANOC meeting, which was held under the patronage of the Qatari Prime Minister. The meeting was attended by President of the International Olympic Committee, Mr. Thomas Buck, Qatar Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Jo'an bin Hamad, ANOC President Sheikh Ahmed Al Fahad Al Sabah, and President of the Asian Football Confederation and the AFC, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. The discussions included the close ties between Bahrain and Qatar, which are growing at a high pace in all our areas. His Highness Sheikh Nasser paid tribute to the strong relationship between both countries, highlighting its progress under the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. He stressed the importance of intensifying the ties and cooperation between both countries in an effort to boost joint strategic projects so as to reach the growth goals that meet the ambitions of the people of Bahrain and Qatar. His Highness Sheikh Nasser then hailed the progress being witnessed in Qatar in all areas. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa to attend a ceremony marking the 28th anniversary of the proclamation of the Palestinian state. Palestinian Ambassador Taha Abdul Qadir hosted the reception ceremony this evening at the Gulf Hotel in the presence of senior officials, members of the diplomatic corps and guests. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa conveyed greetings and congratulations from His Royal Highness the Premier to the Palestinian leadership and people on this national occasion. His Royal Highness the Premier wished the Palestinian state further progress, reiterating Bahrain's unflinching support to the Palestinian people. The Palestinian ambassador extended deep thanks to His Royal Highness the Premier for his unwavering support to the Palestinian people and its just cause. He commended Bahrain's stance in support of his country in regional and international arenas, hailing the kingdom's development strides in all fields. The Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa attended today a lecture held by the Palestinian Liberation Organization Executive Committee Secretary Dr. Saab Araqat. The lecture, which discussed the latest developments in Palestine, was attended by a number of ambassadors, professors from the University of Bahrain, specialists from the media and journalists. Dr. Araqat commended the role of Bahrain in supporting the Palestinians and their legitimate rights. He reviewed the efforts ex rather extended in unifying the Palestinian people, stressing that unity is the way to deal with all regional and international matters and to re-establish Palestine as a sovereign state with its capital in Jerusalem. He asserted that the Palestinian National Authority will cooperate with all efforts that aim at reaching a fair and comprehensive peaceful settlement of the Palestinian issue, according to the International Legitimacy Resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative. Dr. Araqat expressed his hope and wishes for Palestinians to restore their full rights with the help of friendly and brotherly countries, wishing all countries and people security and prosperity. The Education Minister and Higher Education Council Chairman Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi chaired the Council's periodic meeting where he and the Council's members praised the establishment of a chair in the name of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa at the La Spianza University of Rome in Italy to teach dialogue, peace and religious tolerance. The Council commended His Majesty's support to spread these humanitarian values and the agreements made between the University of Bahrain and the Italian University on the level of higher education. The Council affirmed granting more facilities to higher education institutions and their academic programs, as well as guaranteeing their eligibility in accordance with the requirements of higher education law and regulations in order to improve the output of these institutions in collaboration with the British Higher Education Academy. The Council then studied and reviewed the topics on its agenda and made a number of decisions, including appointing the Council's General Secretariat to al allocate 3% of all universities' income for scientific research based on the Council's keenness on activating the role of scientific research. The Council also allocated 2% of universities' income for professionalizing the staff and approved the Finance and Administrative Committee's recommendation for the financial guarantee to be in accordance with the university's capacity. The first Deputy Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ali Al-Aradi, chaired a weekly meeting today in which the Council approved an agreement between Bahrain and Bangladesh regarding avoidance of double taxation and fiscal evasion. The Council of Representatives also approved proposals on limiting housing installments to a maximum of 150 Bahraini dinars and launching a state award for creativity and quality of government work. 
The Council also approved reports on appointing commercial attaches in countries with advanced economies and appointing military and security attaches in the embassies of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the United States and the United Kingdom, Germany and Russia. The Council also approved establishing a new building for the General Di Directorate of Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs and allocating land in Maharaq to establish an occasions hall for the residents. A very good evening. You're watching the Business and News on Bahrain International. I am Mohamed Youssef. The Bahrain All Share Index closed today at 1,161.25 points, marking an increase of 0.03 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial bank sector, and investors traded mainly in the same sector with 84% of total shares. 47 transactions included 2,288,041 shares, worth 323,977 Bahraini dinars.